Hey guys, you're watching official ZenLab tutorials. And this video tutorial related with Project Maker with its editor. Now we are going to add new actions to open project. Merge them into groups and then separate these groups, connect them by different ways. Let's start. I'll just drag and drop any actions from this toolbar. Basically, there are two types of actions. For instance, with list. If I click on list processing and drag it to a dashboard, it's gonna be here. But if I do that with just list, you can see that it's put here on the bottom dashboard. That's because it's static action. More about lists we are going to know in other tutorials. Now I'll skip explanation about lists and go into drag and drop more actions. I just drag any actions. As you can see, if I drag it near to another action like this, they merge into one group. And if I do it like this, it's separated action. You can merge actions into one group to make more clear understanding of your project later. For instance, you can create a group where you read data for your project or you change some settings in the very beginning. Also, you can create separated group for first registration page of the site and another group for the second page, it will be easier to edit project later and much more easy to understand. Okay, now I have a group and how to separate these actions if I want it. If you want to separate just one action, you can drag it from here and you get it divided. But if you want, for instance, separate this group on two groups by two actions in each one you can click here where you want to separate it and then in navigation menu create new group okay you get two new groups you can also connect two groups again in one so you can do it however you want Execution of project always started from the start action. It's here. You don't need to drag it from the toolbar. It's always in your project. And what you need to do is connect start with the next actions that should be executed. It can be any actions from here. Just what you want to be first. For instance, I can do it like this. Okay. And then in each action we have two kind of circles. It's green one and red one. Green one means successful exit from the action. For instance, if you click on the element, successful means that element was found and successfully clicked. And unsuccessful means that this element wasn't found on the page, then it's going by unsuccessful exit. Let's connect successful exit with the beginning of this group and unsuccessful for instance with this action. You can see that successful line and unsuccessful line are different so it's easier to understand which one is successful and which one is not. If you want to delete connection, you click by right mouse button on the connection and choose delete. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.